Estimates suggest around 48.5 tons of meteoritic material fall to Earth every day. Billions of tiny, dust-sized micrometeoroids enter the atmosphere daily, while about 10 to 50 sand-sized to small, pebble-sized meteoroids also enter. The dust-sized meteoroids cause no visual effect, while the sand size or larger create streaks by burning up in the Earth's atmosphere. Larger meteoroids are less frequent, and asteroids over one meter rarely approach Earth. In our solar system, there are trillions of asteroids. Out of those, 1,500 asteroids are labeled as potentially hazardous to Earth. Scientists currently assess that the probability of a substantial asteroid impacting Earth in the near future is not high. Why do large meteoroids and asteroids rarely enter into the Earth atmosphere? As meteoroids get bigger, they can cause more damage when they hit Earth. Those smaller than a walnut usually burn up in the atmosphere, but larger ones might make it to the ground. Asteroids over 100 meters wide can cause a lot of destruction, but they rarely collide with Earth. Large asteroids don't often enter Earth's atmosphere for several reasons. Tiny dust-sized meteoroids frequently enter Earth's atmosphere because they are more abundant in the solar system than larger meteoroids and asteroids. Earth's gravity strongly attracts tiny dust-sized meteoroids, pulling them from greater distances. As meteoroids move swiftly, their inertia grows with their size, necessitating more force to alter their path. Hence, larger meteoroids and asteroids, which follow their trajectories, are less likely to be influenced by Earth's gravity. The vastness of space also reduces the risk of larger asteroids hitting Earth. Asteroids don't frequently collide with Earth, because space is incredibly vast, making the likelihood of them interacting with our planet relatively low. Because Earth is relatively small compared to the vastness of space, Asteroid paths rarely intersect with it. Asteroids are scattered across the solar system, with key concentrations in places like the Asteroid Belt, Kuiper Belt, and Oort Cloud. About 60% of the asteroids hitting Earth originate from the Asteroid Belt, located between Mars and Jupiter, while roughly 30% come from the Kuiper Belt. As long as the asteroids are in their belt, they move in a regular orbit. Collisions within the belt can occasionally break asteroids into pieces and knock them out of their orbits. Jupiter's powerful gravitational pull also influences asteroids in the asteroid belt, causing them to change their paths or drift due to its gravitational force. This process takes a lot of time, and when an asteroid exits the belt, it follows an irregular trajectory. Close to Earth, there are approximately 25,000 to 30,000 asteroids larger than 140 meters in size. Out of these, around 1,500 are categorized as potentially hazardous asteroids. Space agencies categorize potentially dangerous asteroids according to their size and how closely they approach Earth's orbit. If an asteroid is 100 meters or more in size, and its path brings it within 19.5 lunar distances, approximately 7.48 million kilometers of Earth, it's labeled as potentially hazardous. The asteroid paths can shift over time because of interactions with larger bodies like Jupiter. It makes predicting their trajectories very challenging over long periods. It is worth noting that predicting the risks posed by large asteroids is possible in advance, but it's impossible to anticipate the hazards of small asteroids because they cannot be spotted from a distance. Hence, the list of potentially hazardous asteroids is regularly updated.